Boom! Welcome back to Texas Flex. I'm Mike Hernandez and today we're going to be talking about Rogue Fitness and why, well, I just can't shop with them anymore. When I first started my home gym back in 2018, I thought to myself, if I had a million dollars, I would still buy a Rogue Fitness, like complete garage gym setup, and then I wouldn't have a million dollars anymore. So I bought stuff from Walmart and made do. But a year ago, when I came into some money and the pandemic just like blew up the world, right? And everybody was buying fitness equipment, I thought, man, this is the time to buy Rogue Fitness equipment, right? Wrong. Dude, I would have had like enough money to buy a rack. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> so I decided not to do that and instead invested my money in cheaper items like from Titan Fitness, uh, Walmart, Titan Fitness, and I don't know, just cheaper things, right? And with the hopes of maybe one day upgrading to Rogue Fitness equipment. That being said, I have now changed my mind indefinitely that I probably, most likely, will never buy Rogue stuff. And it's because it's too expensive. Is it great? Yes. Is the quality unmatched? Probably. Is it overbuilt most of the time? Absolutely, 100%. Um, but, but that doesn't change things, okay? It's still extremely expensive for people like me, if you haven't noticed already. My channel and myself are kind of like a poor man's coop from Garage Gym Reviews. Would we like to have all the fancy, super cool stuff that he has, or pretty much any garage gym owner aspires to have? Absolutely. Is it financially feasible? No. <laughs> no, it's not. This is already a super expensive hobby. I mean, at this point, everything that I add to my garage gym is just extra. I have everything that I absolutely need. And yet, I always find myself on Marketplace, OfferUp, Amazon, Walmart, Rogue Fitness, Time Fitness, Rep Fitness, Bells of Steel, blah, 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 blah. Just trying to see if there's maybe something that I've missed. Answer, there's not. But, in case there was, this would be it. A deadlift bar. And where would you want to get a deadlift bar? From the best, right? So that's, that's what was going on in my head. I thought, man, I need a bar to deadlift with. And I say need liberally, right? Because I don't need it. I just want it. And then I thought, okay, Rogue Fitness is still expensive. So let's not, <laughs> let's, let's keep that on the back burner, right? Let's think about other options as far as deadlift bars. That's when I found the Valor Fitness uh, deadlift bar on Amazon. And man, I was this freaking close to buying that thing. And I feel like it would have been a mistake, but I don't, I don't know, maybe it would have been, maybe it wouldn't have been. Um, and then, uh, oh, I remembered something that I saw on Basement Brandon's video from a long time ago about the Boneyard, right? This epic place full of deals. And I thought, I probably wouldn't do that because, you know, these bars are going to come blemished or some crap is going to happen to them and they're just going to be like used bars basically. And for the most part, nothing that I have in my garage gym is used. It's all new and I take very good care of it. Um, that being said, it, I guess it doesn't really matter as far as functionality goes. It's just an aesthetic or cosmetic piece. Um, but I did think, okay, why would I pay almost new prices? for something that is damaged somehow, right? But, and, and that was with what I had seen in the Boneyard thus far. It was like dumbbells for still a hundred and something bucks uh, for a single, right? So you have to pay twice that for the pair. And then uh, the Rogue Ohio Power Bar for like $225 all the way up to 325 bucks. And I'm thinking, isn't that the retail price? How much am I really saving here? But then, just when I least expected it, there it was. The Rogue Deadlift Bar in all its glory. 
Now, mind you, it says you could get various coatings, right? So you could be getting any form of the deadlift bar and you don't get the fancy little end cap. But who the f who cares about that, right? <laughs> Am I right, guys? Who cares? So I did it. I said, you know, screw it. I don't use my Rogue Ohio Power Bar. So I sold it for $200 and I bought this one behind me for $237.60 shipped. I know, sounds pretty fantastic. And that's because it is. So, the, to the best of my ability, I tried to figure out what bar I got. And from what I can tell, it's black Cerakote. Now, I could be wrong, I don't know a whole lot about coatings or finishes or any of that, but Having had the Rogue Ohio Power Bar in blue Cerakote, it feels extremely similar to the point where it's kind of hard to say it's not. And if it is, then that means that I got a $375 bar, and I'll correct myself in like a little caption if I'm wrong, but a $375 bar for $237. And 375 dollars on the website. You still have to factor in shipping and taxes. So I'd say I saved about half the cost. And I sold my power bar for this thing. So <laughs> I made out like a freaking bandit, dude. So I was pretty excited when this thing got in. Obviously, my face lit up. I couldn't hide it from my wife. Uh, I'm sure she was just slightly upset about it because, you know, it's an extra piece. I absolutely don't need it but I wanted it so freaking bad. And now that I have it, and have used it for over a month now, it is everything that I wanted it to be. The whip is amazing. I don't lift that much, but it feels great. And the knurling is super, super aggressive. Like I'm telling you guys, it feels great, okay? It feels amazing. And I don't know, it just, it's kind of like the thing that makes this whole wall work. Like when I look at this wall, yeah, I have a safety squat bar from Titan Fitness. I have an Alico bar back there. I have uh, a multi-grip Swiss bar. I have the Yukon bar that I got for cheap as well. But that deadlift bar right on the top, it, it, it just really seals the deal, you know? It's amazing. Anyways, I thought I'd share that with you guys. I also got something else from them. But this one doesn't have as much of a positive review from me personally. So, that's this thing here, right here, this Rogue uh, Oso Collar. Now, these things are powerful. And when I say powerful, I mean this ring, like, it snaps, man. Like, it's crazy. So crazy that when this thing is on the bar, it's almost impossible not to hit yourself. And it freaking hurts, dude. It hurts like crazy. And I mean, you, again, just like in the Cap Super Trap Bar video, <laughs> I, wow, I, you can call me weak if you want to, but this thing freaking hurts. It hurts so bad, dude. I bruised my thumb and it, oh, I almost wanted to cry a little bit. That being said, these things are, like I said, powerful. Like, your weights aren't going anywhere. They're going to stay exactly where you set them. But, wow, does it come with the cost? Um, so if anybody knows how to use these properly or take them off properly to where I'm not going to freaking dismember myself, um, I don't know, let me know. They're great quality, obviously. They're... This is an imitator here, and I mean, you know what I'm saying? I... Obviously, a little, a little looser. They work fine. They work fine but they're not gonna have the same power of these freaking things. That being said, again, I am the poor man's garage gym uh, reviewer, so 
This thing is expensive. It's 60 bucks and it is part of their three ships for free kind of like deal that they always have going. So that's great. But I mean, who wants to buy three? If, if you're being cheap, who's gonna buy three or two other things just to get this with free shipping? Um, it's just not worth it in my uh, opinion. I think that if you were to go with something like this or even one of the crappy little um, pro source collars, you'd be fine. I mean, the weights are gonna move and they're gonna clink clang and do all this crazy stuff that you probably don't want them to do unless you're like one of those guys. But um, it's fun, it works, it serves its purpose. You don't have to spend 60 freaking dollars like I did just to get these collars. And while I'm glad I got them, uh, I, I do think the 60 bucks could have been spent on something else. Um, maybe just as useless, but I don't know, I'm not that impressed. All right, so that's my video. I know I didn't really have like a whole lot of technical stuff to say and it was more of like a background on me, but I thought I'd take a moment to share that with you guys. I'm super impressed with the deadlift bar. I love that freaking thing. I deadlift almost twice a week. I say almost because sometimes it's once a week, sometimes it's two a week, and then if I'm lucky, I'll work out on the weekend and use it again for a third time. But that being said, uh, I use it enough to where the $237 is perfectly justified, and man, I still think I got a hell of a deal, especially with that black Cerakote, or what I believe to be black Cerakote. And uh, yeah, it did come with some damage. I'll show you guys that video now, um, so that you guys can see kind of like what I'm being discounted for, what the bar is being discounted for, uh, which, I mean, in my opinion, is fine. I, barely even notice it and when I do it's just like who cares you know I think it was a perfect trade for the Rogue Ohio power bar that I had I never used that thing and like I said I always use the deadlift bar so perfect buy the Rogue uh, Oso collars I forgot what they are called I'll probably put a caption somewhere so that you guys know what it is but those things they serve their purpose. I just think they're the little snap. It's just too powerful. It freaking hurts so bad. Um, it's not worth it in my opinion. I'd rather just use regular color and not, you know, worry about hurting myself while I'm lifting heavy weights. So that's my video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please hit that subscribe button. I really like the fact that you guys are, I guess, seeming to. Seemingly enjoying these uh, videos. I love putting out this content. I'm still trying to justify the time that I put into them uh, But right now things are looking well. I'm getting plenty of subscribers. So I really have to thank you guys for that um, If you could though check out the links down below as well. It's for my Instagram. You guys can follow me I try to post daily and then uh, there's also a Redcom one uh, link in there Right now, my code is only good for 20% off, but they always run sales and they always have pretty good quality products. Uh, so definitely check them out if you want to do me that favor. And until next time, I will see you guys at the next Flex.